how are you? In our last episode, you know, I was kind of upset. Not only did, well, we were happy for Gemma at least. Gemma at least have her day with Alex and finally just going to cut all ties with Marcus. Did she officially say that out of her mouth? No, but I know she better do that. But what I was heard about was Ebony and Lincoln's relationship is they're having problems right now. And I was actually getting happy that they were at least getting somewhere as much as Lincoln did that they were getting somewhere. And <clears throat> some rumors are coming up because obviously there's people out there jealous of Ebony's and Lincoln's relationship that they're going to just, they're going to just try to destroy every chance they can get. And I'm not liking that because obviously Ebony is easily persuaded as we can see. And she's, she's seeming like she's just willing to just give up everything that her and Lincoln has been through or put together. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just hoping in this episode that maybe, maybe things could be fixed and it can go back to normal because I'm not liking where things are going right now. I was a big fan of the Ebony and Lincoln relationship, so it needs to be fixed. So let's see what happens in this episode and hopefully we get some things repaired. So today we're on episode 18 and the title is, I am not your quarterback anymore. So obviously we know Ebony is the one that calls Lincoln quarterback. And that is Lincoln asking Ebony if he's not her quarterback anymore. And again, that title is just hurting me because again, I was rooting for this relationship for so long for it to just come to this. So Ebony, fix it. Lincoln, fix it. Whoever needs to fix it, both. Fix it. <sighs> you guys are stressing me out. You're breaking my heart and I, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, this is where they left us off at. On the practice field, pouring out false feelings or whatever you want to call it. Can't you give me just a little trust? Don't you think I deserve that? Hold on, because I almost forgot. I almost forgot to, um, you know. Okay. Can't you give me just a little trust? Don't you think I deserve that? I know I read that twice, but don't. It's been a long day. I I can't lose you. You don't know what I've you don't know I would never lie to you, Pumpkin. Please believe me. Please. Lincoln. I I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah, so that's where they left us off at. She ran away and that just hurt at me so much. Because why is this happening? Please tell me, Lincoln, you're still not going to give up. You're still going to fight for you and Ebony's relationship. Because if you don't, I'm going to I'm gonna beat your butt. She's hurting. And I get it. I get it. But don't let go that easily, Ebony. Oh, I can't sleep. Yeah, obviously Lincoln can't sleep either. He's tossing and turning on these pillows. I can't sleep. Yep, that's what Ebony said. Maybe your mom, actually your mom can't make you feel better. The only thing that can make you feel better is to stop listening to stupid rumors and just get back to the way things were. Good morning, honey. I'm just making breakfast before heading to the next flight. Want any? No thanks, I don't have much of an appetite. Why? See, that shocked mom because Ebony, no appetite. You always want to eat, especially if it's sweet. So what's wrong? Oh no, what's wrong, Ebony? I can't, I couldn't sleep. What's going on? You're going to Lincoln's once I leave, right? Mm, no, mom. Something happened between Lincoln and Ebony. So is she going to tell you? She probably is because who else are you going to lean on? No, 
I don't think I'll be going to Lincoln's anymore. Why? Because you don't know. Oh gosh, I can't hold it in anymore. Oh sweetie, talk to me, what happened? I haven't seen you cry since, since what, since dad left? I'm so confused, ma. I don't know what to do. Isn't he good to, isn't he good to you, honey? So good to me, the best to me. That's why I'm so conflicted. I thought I was maybe falling for him. Oh, so she was falling in love too. See, this is why it's hurting me. And then my emotions get the best of me. And I, I just don't know what to, to believe. I'm so scared to get my heart broken again, mom. But I think I just ended up breaking my own heart and his. At least she realized that they, they were rumors because he explained himself and that she could have possibly just shut down and ran away and broke his heart more so the fact that she broke his heart is breaking her heart more because she broke you know what i'm going you know what i'm trying to say fear of the unknown makes us do crazy things sometimes i know it's easier for you to push him away but sometimes we have to do the things that scare us the most it won't be easy sweetheart but it will be worth it in the end but what if i'm right what if he ends up being everything I thought he would be. You see, that was your first mistake. You assume right from the beginning that he would just that he would be just like Connor and your father. But he hasn't actually done anything to show you that he's like them, has he? I don't know what to think. No, he hasn't, Ebony. You know that. So no. Do you think I should believe him, Ma? I think he deserves at least the benefit of the doubt. It's unfair of you to jump to conclusions. It really is. Thank you, Mom, for putting that in her head because she needed that. Because she wasn't just breaking Lincoln's heart. She was breaking mine's. And you're still wearing his jersey. So obviously you care. It makes me feel close to him. Because you love him, sweetheart. Yes! The L word. Mom, you know I don't like that word. I know, but it's okay to admit it. It's okay to let yourself love again. And I think it's time you start. Thanks, Mom, for not being on your flight and being there to put some sense into Ebony's head because she needed it. I hope you start, you start staying with him when I'm gone again. I felt so much better knowing you were safe with him. Yeah, me too. Yep, yep, so go back. Because he, he is not having a good time. You're running a little late for practice, sleepyhead. I know, I couldn't sleep. Is that why you were sleeping in Ebony's room with her blanket? Yeah, he misses her. Do you, do you really think a guy that wants to just sleep around would... Act the way he's acting? No. So again, these rumors are rumors, Ebony. Please, just understand that. I just needed to feel close to her. Yeah, just like she needed to feel close to you with your jersey. And does she still smell like her? Don't worry. She'll come around. I don't think so, Lisa. You should have seen the hurt in her eyes, the devastation in her voice. I've never felt this way before. It broke me. She really believes I've been lying to her this whole time. So, you're giving up? What else am I supposed to do? That's not the Lincoln Fox I know. I'll always fight for her. But I can't do much if she doesn't even want to see me. She's scared. You have to understand how intimidating you and your lifestyle is. This is all new to her. A man like you is new to her she probably doesn't know what to believe you're the first man she's gotten close to since the last one broke her then all these rumors and women from your past get thrown in her face she so she ran the only thing she knows how to do when she's scared i understand that's why i've been so patient with her 
I know she's so quick to judge me because of what happened with her ex, and I don't hold that against her. I just wish she would realize I would never do the things he did to her. She will realize that in time. I know from experience I went through something similar before I met my husband. <clears throat> she has to figure out that she's in love with you for herself. Well, how much longer do you think that's going to take? Because it's only been a few days and I'm going crazy. Never in a million years did I think I would see you so lovesick. Well, things happen. You will both find your way back to each other, honey. Trust me. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think Lincoln will be able to wait a long time. So Ebony, you better come around quick because he's gonna become a psycho. What's up with Link lately? He hasn't been himself. Oh, and Ebony is supposed to be his good luck charm. So these games might not look good. I think that Ebony and Lincoln need to get back to some senses because y'all games are gonna be horrible. Because remember, he was playing better or his best when he had Ebony and now they're having issues he hasn't been himself and he's not even practicing I would rather be anywhere but here right now how am I supposed to focus on playoffs when I feel like my heart has been ripped from my chest none of it is important anymore what is what is it worth without Ebony in my life? Fuck. Before her football was all I had. Making a name for myself, winning game yeah, after game was all that stop. crosses my mind. Fahrenheit, Why is Alexa degrees. speaking? It was the only thing that brought value to my life. But now it seems so irrelevant. It seems so insignificant compared to the shattering of my soul. All I can think about is the pain of losing my pumpkin, my girl, my love. Link! Um, Leah has been calling you, Lincoln. Get out of your head. My mind is constantly consumed with thoughts of her. Where is she? What is she doing? Is she safe? Is she okay? Will she ever come back to me? The money, the notoriety of all of this means nothing if I don't have her by my side. It means nothing if I can't see her beautiful smile and listen to all her silly thoughts. Gosh, I sound pathetic. No, you don't. You're in love. L-O-V-E will make you just feel those type of things. We know. We get it. I really should be ashamed of myself. But I'm not. I fully accepted that, I, that I'm that i pathetic and in love. In love with a girl who I still believe is worth all this. Even if it doesn't hurt like heck right now. Lincoln! Yeah, get closer, snap him out of it. Sorry, coach. What? What the heck is going on? I'm just distracted. I see that. Can you just forget about whatever it is and focus? We need you. Your team needs you. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a easy. Yeah, I got it. Alex. Alex, do not want nothing to do with you, Marcus. At this point, you're losing friends because I don't think Lincoln or Alex would want to be your friend after what you did to Gemma. Want to run some laps? No. What's your problem? You're not mad about that Stacy thing, are you? Come on, bro. We all know she was loving the crew anyway. This isn't about Stacy. This is about you being a coward. I'd be careful if I were you. Um, Alex is not afraid of you. Oh, I'm so scared. You know, it's one thing to play the field and have some fun, but it's an entirely different thing to be a complete pig. You brought Gemma to the retreat and you screwed someone else in the room. You were share you were sharing with her. 
Don't you see how disgusting that is? You didn't even care or think about her for a second. So you're more upset about Gemma than Stacy. You're right. If you want her, you can have her, bro. I don't care. As if I need your permission. Yeah, he doesn't need your permission. He was going to do it anyway because they already had their first date. Little do you know, Marcus. You completely missed the point. She's not some object you can pass around. You know what? Just forget it. You should be working on your passes anyway. It's been a shame if you cost us the playoffs like you almost did your last year. Yeah, you don't have friends anymore, Marcus. You're all alone. Just be with your girls. Feeling any better? Worse, actually. It's okay. I know coach doesn't want us drinking right now, but I could use one, once, so how about I grab a bottle and we hang out at your place? Get your mind off, you know. Yeah, sounds good. Just don't do nothing stupid, Lincoln, okay? She already thinks, so don't, don't make it real. You know how drunk-minded people cannot think straight. Oh, this is cute. I forgot I had it in here. Hello? Gemma. No, it's supposed to be Freckles. How are you, Freckles? Oh, there it is. Have I, have I ever told you how much I love your Freckles? Well, I see these two are getting along very well after their first date. Ebony used to love this pool. Oh my gosh, everything is going to remind him of Ebony because, yeah, they did kiss in the pool. Alex, are you drunk? No. Yes, he is. Okay, maybe a little. But game season is stressful. And I'm dealing with these all these new weird feelings. And my bro Link just got his heart broken. So just give us a break, all right? Where are you? At Lynx. Come see me. And where are those cute little PJs? Is she with Ebony? Tell her to come home already. This isn't funny anymore. Bring Ebony too. I'll be right there. Yeah, bring Ebony too. We need to get this fixed. It's ridiculous. Yes, call her up. Get out of the bed, girl. Go to Lincoln. He needs you. Hey, Jim. I need you to meet me at Link's house. He's with Alex and they sound wasted. They have a big game coming up and shouldn't be drinking. We have to go over there to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea. Can you just watch over them yourself? I'm too scared and confused and... I just can't see Lincoln right now. Do you think I can take care of two drunk, six foot, whatever grown behind men myself? No. So wipe your tears, buck up, and get your butt over here. Over there, I meant. Alex said his heart is broken. He needs you, Ebony. He, he needs me? Yes, girl, just, just... Ebony. Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you. Gosh, I thought she was going to be even more complicated after these rumors. Hi, Jeep. It's been a while. The Jeep can't talk to you, Ebony. I still can't believe he bought you a car. Neither can I. Do you want to know what I would do if Alex brought me a car? No, I don't think I do. We would have used that backseat for a lot more than just driving. Oh, we already know that, Gemma, because you are just a busy girl, aren't you? The second game season is over, I am so jumping his bones. Um, you remember you're supposed to be taking this relationship slow because the last time you took a relationship fast, Gemma, look where it got you. Even though we know Alex is better than Marcus, but still, slow down. What's wrong? 
I'm nothing. Just, let's just go check on the guys. Yeah. He's going to be so happy to see you. Just don't give him more problems. Alex. Freckles, you made it. Where's Lincoln? Upstairs, probably soaking over you. Is he really that upset? What do you think? He's clearly in. Don't you say it. Remember, that was supposed to stay between you two. Let them use the L word together themselves. We don't need your help, Alex. Sorry. Never mind. I'll go talk to him. I'm liking this relationship for Gemma, so I'm happy that she's out of the market situation. That makes my heart happy. Lincoln. Pumpkin. Yeah, he's happy. I miss you, sweet pea. This means you're back for good, right? This place feels so empty without you. I feel so empty without you. You had me worried. This isn't like you. Are you okay? No, I am. See, no man would go through all of this if he didn't care for you and just wanted to screw other women. Obviously, the pictures are fake. Just get that through your head, Ebony. I knew this all along because I know Lincoln is not like that. He's worked too hard. You have no idea how much I miss that adorable blush on your cheeks. Lincoln, I... Am I not your quarterback anymore? Yeah, know the title. Oh, quarterback. You are her quarterback. You still are her quarterback. She would never give that up. Trust me, deep down, she... L <clears throat> she... L she L-O-V-E you. Of course you are. That would never change. I, I'm so sorry for putting you through this. I'm so sorry for all the things I said. You didn't deserve that. I'm just so scared. I just need a little time to figure this out. I thought I was already giving you time. Pull yourself together. What is wrong with me? I rarely cry. But seeing Lincoln like this, so hurt and broken, all because of me, combined with the feeling of emptiness in my heart, makes me want to burst into a million little pieces. Like the floodgates of my soul are about to break open at any moment and let all the pain pour out. How do I stop this? How, do, how to fix all the damage that has been, been to me? How do I let him love me isn't there a mute manual or something for this kind of stuff no there's not well maybe they do i don't know stay with me love he used the word love but not in the way he wants to use the word love just for one last night one last night you mean forever and ever and ever and every night fine but just so make ah but just so make sure you're all right make sense people but only because i love this bed so much no we, we're not here for the bed we're here for lincoln but just to make sure you're all right yeah because that choice did not make sense lincoln your turn how about we stay fully clothed um, you sleep with your clothes on? That's not fun. Remember, he's a little tipsy right now, so he's not going to think 100% straight. So you have to ignore him. Just ignore him because... Well, at least... At least they're actually speaking to each other still and that she didn't completely go cold shoulder. That's a good thing. Here's my books. I knew I left them here. Yeah, and Lincoln has been reading them. Link. Nope, it's not Link. It's Ebony. Oh, hey, Faith. 
Why are you angry? Where's my brother? In the shower, he's a little hungover. Hungover? As in he was drinking? Yeah, Alex and him drunk a bit too much last night. My brother doesn't get drunk, Ebony. This is all your fault. Please. Faith and Ebony had a good relationship and now it just, everything is wrong. Should she just take up for her fault? Because we don't want to make nothing worse. Just say, just say I know. I know. Oh my gosh, what the heck is wrong with me? Yeah, what the heck is wrong with you? Um, excuse me. No, calm down, Faith. Don't you do that. Only Ebony can do that to herself. Don't, 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 baby girl, because you know. Why would you do this to him? You were planning to lead him on this entire time, weren't you? I knew it. I wasn't leading him on. I was always honest with him, as honest as I could be. I I have issues, okay? I'm trying to work through them. I'm trying to figure them out on my own. But it's not as easy as everyone thinks. I'm hurting too. Do you think I want to see him like this? Lincoln should just move on. He deserves better than someone like me. Look what you've done, Faith. You made her feel bad about herself. How do you feel about yourself? I'm sorry, Ebony. I didn't mean to lash out at you. I told you I'm overprotective of him. I hate seeing you guys like this. You're supposed to be my future sis. You're the only girl I've ever wanted my brother to be with. And that should mean something, Ebony. Look, my mother and I did the same thing when we first heard this rumor. We were pissed. We thought he was going to make the biggest mistake of his life by marrying her. We thought he didn't even have the decency to tell us first, but we were wrong. We jumped to conclusion and judged him too quickly, just like everyone else, just like you. What did I do, Faith? You stopped letting your pain from the past affect your future. But how? I don't know. You'll figure it out. If you have to let him go until you do, then so be it. But stop hurting him. Stop acting like he's anything like that stupid ex of yours. Jeez, I can't believe I compared him to Connor. Why does he even want to be with me after that? Because he loves you, Ebony. Hey, they're supposed to do that theirself. Come on, Faith. Have faith. And even if he tried, he'll never be able to give up on you. At least a lot of people is putting some sense into Ebony's head so that they can fix the situation that has been broken because it's been breaking me. I know, I know, Jer. I won't be late for practice again. Oh, it was Jeremy. That's the name I was trying to get. That's the one that he fired Taylor for. No, this is about the other thing. I found her. You did already? Believe it or not, she didn't move too far away like you thought. She works at a bar just outside of the city. I'll send you the address. Thanks, man. Um, send the address of who and who is her and where or why you're looking for her. Who? Lincoln. Be careful, Link. I will. What address? Who are y'all talking about? Yeah, making, I, I hope is to confront, I don't know. I don't even know at this point. It's been another long, gruesome, lonely, sad, should I go on? Week since I've been, since I've seen Link. He's been busy with playoffs and I've been busy thinking and worrying and crying and should I go on? On the bright side, the Stallions won their division. So that means they get to move on to the championship. I'm so proud of Lincoln. I've been watching, cheering him on through the TV, hoping he knows that I'll always be rooting for him, hoping he still remembers that I'm his lucky charm. Yeah, because if, if you didn't go to see him, I, I don't know how that game would have went and they would have lost the championship and it would have been your fault, Ebony, because I don't know why. Gemma has been 
preoccupied with Alex lately. That's a good thing. Even though he's busy too, they text and talk on the phone nonstop. They've gotten close, really close. And I'm happy for her. I swear I am. But I almost could help but feel jealous. Oh gosh. Doesn't that make me a bad person? Am I a terrible friend for wondering why it couldn't be that easy for me too? She opened her heart without hesitation after getting hurt. But here I am, still stuck on the betrayal from years ago. Still closed off, still guarded, still jaded. And that's the title. Didn't really know what jaded means, but I'll look it up. If you guys hear noise in the background, again, my kids are out there just making the loudest of noise they can. So, I'm sorry. Hey, Jack, it's really early. Everything okay? No, Ebony, everything is not okay. I need you to meet me at the police station. What happened? Gemma's been arrested. Why? Why? Gemma's been arrested? Well, that was actually a short episode for today. Gemma, what did you do? Gemma's been, that's like, that just came out of nowhere. Okay, so anyway, let me make sure I turn this off. Okay, so I'm actually kind of happy that, you know, everybody's talking some sense into Ebony's head, letting them know, you know, Lincoln is not this person that these rumors are making him to be. So it's kind of slowly getting, I know it's going to take time. She's, she, she just wants to know that she's not going to get hurt. That's all. That's all she wants. But it's slowly going to get back together. It's slowly going to get back on the right track. And I'm happy for that. At least I can now be like, <sighs> it's moving in the right direction. It's going back to the way it's supposed to be. I don't have to stress anymore. But Jemma in jail or got arrested or whatever you want to call it. What did you do, girl? I thought you were with Alex. What are you doing? What do you, Did you do something to Marcus? Please don't tell me you did something to Marcus. But anyway, that was the end of this episode. We're going to find out why Gemma is arrested in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. If you did like this video, give this video a like. It will help my channel out so much. Don't forget, you're still not a part of the Rare Breed fam. I've, I'm seeing you watching my videos and you're not hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe uh, Hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Rare Breed fam. You're all welcome. I'm waiting for you to be in the family. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you won't miss another juicy story. Wow.